Hi, Fire Signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out what is your person, your love interest, next action towards you. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me for Fire Signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Their person, their love interest, what's your next action towards them? Ooh, Ace of Wands. They're going to initiate something here. They're going to choose you with the lovers here. Either choose to reconcile or choose to let go of something or someone from their past and then come forward. Let's see. I've got some extras here. I'll take it. Four cups at the bottom of the deck. For those of you currently separated from your person, I'm going to start with that first, okay? Because there's also a new person I'm seeing here. Um, for one group of you, if you're separated from your person, the death card here indicates, obviously, a separation. And the Ace of Wands here means that they would like to reignite passion with you, okay? And Seven of Wands in reverse, they're going to let go of any sorts of control and and come forward and then be very passionate with you or wanting to be passionate with you. I sense with the lovers here, um, their next actions towards you will be wanting to be intimate with you, okay? Mm, physically intimate with you or to also tell you how much they want you, how much they would like to start over with you. Three of Swords in reverse to heal this connection, right? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. They're going to take some time off from work and then come to you. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse. Your person is definitely stuck on you. And Four of Cups here. They're a little bit... If your person hasn't come forward yet, it's because they're worried that you might just ignore them and, you know, just not accept whatever they've got to offer to you. They're afraid of rejection with the Four of Cups here. So we've got the Empress and the Knight of Swords in reverse. I think the Knight of Swords is going to be in an upright position later. And they're going to choose to speak with you that they see, they see you as the empress. That they see you as somebody who is very abundant, very beautiful, beautiful inside and out. Uh, or that they may want to say to you that, that they want to be, they want you to be their mother, the mother or the father of their children. They see you as a lifetime partner growing old with you. And they, they will also tell you something in regards of, uh, no, if especially if your person has somebody else or other options, they will tell you that you know hands down you are, you are. You are the choice. You're the one that they're gonna choose, no matter what. Yeah. And then the world here is in reverse, and we got the two of pentacles here. They may also tell you that they are stuck on you. Then. They really don't want to start a new chapter with somebody else because they know that they can't find anybody else better than you are because there's only one empress in the entire deck and with the two of pentacles here and with the five of cups here they may also tell you something in regards of certain regrets that they may have that they may be feeling right now okay they may be regretting either uh, juggling between you and somebody else or that they could be juggling with work or being indecisive can be any of these things. So they regret certain something here. I think they're going to express that to you in regards to their regrets and disappointments in regards of something that they may have done to you or didn't do for you, okay? And for another group of you, Fire Signs, if this is someone kind of new, I feel like Ace of Wands indicates this person is going to initiate, and <laughs> this person is going to try to be physically intimate with you, okay? Um... They're going to, again, I feel the same thing. They're going to take some time off uh, from work. They're going to spend some time with you or wanting to go on a date with you in hopes that both of you will be intimate with each other. The Ace of Wands also can indicate new beginnings, so they may want to grow this connection with you. And we've got the Death card here in the Seven of Wands in reverse. This person is going to just take risks. Sometimes I feel like fire energy can be 
you know, somebody who wants to take risks because it's a very ambitious energy, very passionate energy. So they may want to tell you that they are, they want to take risks with you to grow this connection with you and willing to end something, put something behind with the death card here. Leaving an X behind or leaving another option or other options behind because you've got the three of swords here. They may also tell you that they're not working on other people. They're not focusing on other people. Their focus is only on you with Ace of Wands here and the lovers. So they're going to choose you. Their next action towards you is they're going to choose you um, to, and choose to be with you. If there is a choice between you and somebody or a choice between you and other things, it can be you know, many things. Um, for some of you, this is a little bit similar to the earth signs uh, reading that I just did. Um, some of you could be dealing with uh, an earth sign, I think, Virgo, Capcom, Taurus. Roles can be reversed here. Um, I feel like some of them may even sacrifice their job to relocate with you, sacrifice something, end something, end something, put something behind for you because they are choosing you so whatever else other obstacles anything that comes between the two of you they will eliminate it that's what i'm seeing here and we've got again the nana swords here in reverse yeah i feel like they are they don't want to be hasty though so they're not gonna do it too quickly i see them taking the time to take these actions towards you but they know that because you are the empress they know that it is worth it it's worth to go slow with you. If they're also ready to, you know, even if you say, if both of you are not physically intimate yet, they may not want to rush you either because they see your worth and your value here with the Empress. That's just for some of you. It's very specific. I'm going to pull out a few of these oracles here. Romance Angels. I feel also, you know what, if they're not telling you now, they're not taking actions with you right now, that's because they're still kind of trying to decide to a pentacles here, but eventually they're going to decide to choose you. Yeah. Choose to be with you, choose you. But um, the five of cups here feels like for them to choose you, again, they might have to leave certain things behind, which they're not very happy about, actually. I mean... It's going to make them feel sad, but they know that, that that has to happen in order to be with you, okay? Release your ex. For some of you, your person might be releasing their ex, right? Whether they're still together or not releasing them energetically and then they will then come forward and offer you love um offer to have this new beginning with you again they see you as somebody who's worth it worth it, worth their time and effort worth sacrificing certain things worth releasing certain things for you we've got the soulmate here so this could be a soulmate connection healing family issues some of you are separated from this person they will want to speak with you with the heart to heart conversations here to heal this connection with you and i don't know i see for some of you you got an ex here um that you could be thinking about and um they are going to speak with you eventually there's a bit of a delay here that i'm getting they may be indecisive right but you also have one new person some of you may have two person on your mind right now if it's someone new, this person sees you as you could be their true love and uh, playfulness here. They like something about you, uh, fire signs. They, they like how playful you are or how you make them feel so excited. A breath of fresh air that I'm getting here. Stay optimistic. They sense you being somebody very optimistic, very positive. And it just makes them feel like, hey, you know what? I think I can be with this person forever. If I'm going to be feeling this happy, this positive, and we can always like have fun, but also, you know, have this relationship together where both of you are committed to each other. They're like, hey, why not? This, this should be the person. This, this should be the person for me. So whatever the case is, 
um, either if it's your ex or someone new, I definitely see a heart to heart conversation. It's very, very honest conversation that your person, your love interest is going to want to uh, speak with you. Okay. They will want to tell you honestly how they feel, uh, what they want. Mm, yeah. And if you're separated from this person, yeah, they would like to heal this connection again with the Five of Cups. They will tell you something that they're sad about, disappointed about. Um, and that they still haven't moved on yet with the world here in my verse. All right, Fire Signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. As usual, I'll leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's titled Asia. Uh, it's a travel vlog channel. I haven't posted in that channel in a bit. Like, I think it's been almost two months already. I really don't have the time and I've been sick, but I will post something uh, hopefully soon. And um, another playlist, it's, it's titled Bonus Compilation Reading. So you can check that out as well. Click on it, scroll all the way down, look for your sign. There could be some other important messages for you over there. And these readings are still new because I post them almost every single day. So um, again, Fire Signs, check it out if you want to. And I hope to see you back here again soon. Take care. Bye.